This is not aimed at people who do or don't like pink porcelain pigs. It's the principle behind the story that will save you a lot of guilt and wasting time. Imagine you get a gift, and you really don't like it. Give it back. Such as a pink porcelain pig. Sorry to those out there that really do like pink porcelain pigs. We know you are out there. I don't care how you give it back, being nice would be the best. I do realize when most people buy gifts for others, they are buying something they like. I do appreciate your gift in the way it was intended, but I don't like it and it would be wasted on me. Thank you but no thanks. You might think this rude. It's not. Think of what happens, and has probably happened to you or someone you know in the past. 1. You don't like the pink porcelain pig, so you hide it away, until, the person who gave it to you comes over. <gasps> you now feel guilty that the gift they gave you is hidden away. 2. You know the person who gave you the pink porcelain pig is coming over, so you put the pink porcelain pig in full show so everyone can see it. You now feel happy that they see you are happy with their gift. But you are not happy because you are lying. 3. A follow-on from 2. People see you have a pink porcelain pig and think you like and collect pink porcelain pigs. Guess what everyone is going to buy you from now on? Instead of stopping the pink porcelain pig situation when you had the chance, you now have a growing collection of pink porcelain pigs you done like and don't want. Wouldn't it have been simpler to tell the truth in the first place? 